no. We should not let the folks back in camp think we have time. Indeed not. I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Well, you know, just a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. you come what is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. 
I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that, now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Poor old Pat O'Keegan was got his war blues and swim. Fell asleep, belly up in a pigsty. Well, that don't surprise me at all. I think this is everything. All. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Yep. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. 
Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamar and Raider country. Keep it cool. You need you. to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! God damn it! Oh. Oh. here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine hey you want me to drive we show those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch maybe if he asks, but maybe not. Yeah. So who do they say they want? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. Hey, where are you going? You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up.
So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well... In that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. Ah, Morgan! Ah. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back of north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, huh? what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, born me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead.
Oh, here, Morgan. Hold. Let's keep the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Hey, keep it down. Hey there! I'm gonna give you and your oh. daddy about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Watch it. They're coming out. You'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? How much are we taking up out of him, didn't they? Did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Look at the ball boy himself. Proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind the loop for in the bedroom. Find that thing yet? Don't want to over stay our welcome, do we? This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? They found a bit, didn't they? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. See you back at camp. Never know what I'll post. Just talk to you about places out there like this.
What the hell's wrong with you all? Still live free. Still save your own wreck. See where answer to your laws. There'd be one man living the truth. A million some lie. Now you all know that most of us old timers we fought alongside each other. Third the morning, Redman. So God Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, the Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met, but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. You did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. 
loosen your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people wait his time with temperance. Liquor never dulled good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Very good. And your friend is beheading himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his best. Congratulations on becoming temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days. But Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their skills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dollars. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Grays and Braithwaites think the other stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't know that far. Whoa. Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? No. Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Your eyes open. Damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. No. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. 
and my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Nitsch. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex... ex Staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they murdered this year. Alone. Oh, and I. The bright plates are in business with them. No shame. Go no right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Trash gets trash, my uncle original used to say. They're right in here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like child, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaite's are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folk don't even speak to them. Don't even look in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring it. Live, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves a rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I say Actually, I'm afraid you decide. He doesn't have your fine way of words. Well, he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheap and out. A fine idea. Oh, Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one on the bridge over there? I think there's another one by the still.
Explosives. Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. You think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. me.
Forgive me, but me and my men must turn to our lies. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get it back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of war? We are all American. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. You know what I mean? Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have life on land. So stupid. A backwater. So bad words that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Hell, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Yes! Show it to Hosea! I'm sure he can find a use for it! Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. <laughs> Got Jose written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? <laughs> okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go! <laughs> you never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. So good to run away, horse. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Well, I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that.
more? What, you a lawman now or something? Yes, Mr. O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would ya? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What do you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip off, so now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. If you be my other fool, you too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. You boys should do this. It's easy. And I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Then you miserable bastards! Hey, how do you get wind of this so fast? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, while you boys been all fishing or play lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, if you don't want any of this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just giving a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will ya? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. But it's scoped here, Jack. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sake. Should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get a shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus of Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. It's too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Nearly a thousand. Shit! Hey! Think I see 
say something. Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Outside. Stay until dark. I'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Uh. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. You didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me parts of what you heard? What? What? Tell me what you heard! I don't... I mean, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. I'm gonna not be. Alright. Go forth. Go. Go check out the, the barn. Sir! Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back.
We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got a cold one on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, go on. Get out of here. Every man split up, go on, real quick. Good luck, Johnny. Stay quiet and move.
Because we are here yes. today for a you very gotta watch keep it special quiet. occasion. It's a one. Yeah. It is yeah. imperative that we reestablish sanity and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress and their ludicrous ideas. But today, we grow one yeah. 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 as we anoint a new brother yeah. in our sacred cause. Yeah. Please step forward and kneel. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Let go. The yeah. eternal light yeah. shall yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Seems like maybe that's a sign, eh? A test, that's all. A test of devotion to our great cause. That went about as well as expect. You think maybe it's a sign? You petty, small-minded fool. You and your kind will be the end of this country. Someone!